two races into the season, and I think everybody in the paddock was expecting more points to have come to, to Alpha Tauri so far. Is it a frustration at the team? You know you've got a great car underneath you, but the results haven't quite been where, where we've all expected them to be anyway. I think it's fair to say we have had amazing Saturdays, um, even better than, than what we expected with the two fifth place. So um, it's been really good on Saturdays, but on Sundays, uh, we, so far on the two occasions we have had, uh, we didn't have a, a clean a clean one. So um, obviously I felt in Bahrain that clearly we, we missed a, a pretty pretty big opportunity. And then in Imola, to be fair, it was bad badly executed and uh, we recovered really well scoring this um, uh, finishing sevens but I think yeah, probably there was slightly more for sure sixth place was possible maybe not a top five but um, uh, we still lost two points I believe there so uh, I think that's really the focus now to make sure we have clean Sundays and um, and really try to uh, leave the weekend with a satisfying feeling uh, um, and, and knowing that we, we got the maximum points from the, the car we have in. The team said during the week that the plans to shift focus for 2022 haven't changed, despite the fact that you've got a great car underneath you for this season. Does that mean you've got to maximise these early races as much as you possibly can? That's what I believe, you know, uh, whatever the strategy is for 2022, every opportunity, every race weekends, uh, you've got to grab all the points you, you have available. So, um, you know, the, on the team side, on the driver side, um, last year was a great example. I finished a point ahead of stroll um, in the last race so whatever point you can you, you can take you you got to take them so uh, that's why we, we can't afford to do mistakes um, no I think we, we we've done some on the first two weekends I think we we've learned from them uh, on the team side and on my side and then um, yeah we'll we'll focus on putting things together um, on the Sundays yeah. for sure it seems as though Ferrari and McLaren are, are in your sights at the moment but a third or a fourth place finish would a fifth place finish in the, the championship even be a success and, and, and a happy conclusion to the year? I know it's a long way to go, but, yeah. <laughs> but would that be a, a step that the team would be happy with? You know, I think in 15 years, the, the team has uh, finished six in the, like their best result in the team championship was a sixth place. So um, anything better than that will be a, a very successful year for this team. And, uh, you know, I really see the trend for the last two years and how the team is growing and uh, I think that's achievable that's clearly our target and um, you know the fifth place is there McLaren and Ferrari uh, they still have a very competitive package uh, they've got two very um, you know exp like let's say uh, very efficient drivers scoring points so far on the two first weekends I think over one lap at the moment we we can be there uh, fight with them on, on the race pace it's a tiny bit more difficult but uh, you know that we are all motivated and, and committed to uh, uh, to be in that fight, and um, and you know if uh, we can finish ahead, we'll we'll do it every time we can. The ATO2 appears to be a really together car. How well do you think it'll run on this roller coaster of a circuit? Great. You know, I think it's. You know, I'm always very positive, guys. So last year we finished fifth, uh, one of the best races of the season, and uh, it's a track I like. Very challenging uh, because it's very low grip and. Uh, yeah, I expect I expect us to be to be strong. So excited to see uh, how it's going to go. Finally, uh, sprint races confirmed for three races this season. What do you think about them? I don't don't mind it. Um, it's not like I have very strong opinion about it. You know, I rather try it first and see what comes out. Um, I clearly see the the interest to to make the Fridays more interesting for people to watch on TV or in the grandstands. Um, so I'm happy to try it. You know, I'm, I like races. Uh, at the end, I don't think it changes much the, the goal of the weekend, which is to get the maximum points on, on Sundays. If we can be in the top three on Saturdays, I'll, I'll take it as well. But uh, um, yeah, I think it's, I'm yeah, quite excited to see how it goes. And if it's a positive, then uh, great. If it's not a positive, then we'll uh, revert back to what we know.